Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. This is PayPal payment integration and we are working on subscription system or we can say recurring billing and we have seen that how subscription system are working and what are the steps to achieve a subscription system on your website. So first thing is create a plan. Obviously, if you want your user to subscribe to a plan, you have a plan. So to create a plan, you just need to go to API, REST API, and here at the bottom, you will find the SDKs. So SDK, get the PHP one and close this. Here, now let's once again go to the sample code. In the sample code, you will see we have used these things when we have done with uh, the express checkout but now we need to go to the billing plan and agreement here the first one is create billing plan so let's get the code or sample code for create billing plan here we have so let's use this one i am on php storm so here we have created a paypal dedicated class where we have the api context then we have created every class for every task so likewise let's create another class which is like a php class and class name is create plan and hit ok remove the dog box now what we need to do first we need to extend with paypal so extend paypal and let's create a function called create so it's a plan and create so we are creating the plan and now inside i will copy all of these codes so let's copy these codes quickly so that we can see what's going on so i will copy everything and then i will explain to you so now i have copied each and every line of code from the given sample and here let's see what's going on so first thing it is initializing the plan and then it will describing or giving the name description and tag so why not move this into a new method so refactoring with a protected method and its simple plan so this is done then we are initializing the payment definition so what are the definition for the payment so payment is set name a regular payment then type is again regular frequency each every month and frequency interval and it's like it's every two month so we are uh, setting the frequency as monthly but every two month so cycle is 12 so it will uh, go on 12 cycles so every two month 12 cycle that mean this means two year plan then value or uh, currency is 100 usd and these things are there so let's again move this to a method and its payment definition so definition and yeah this is done then we are creating the charge model is there any extra charges so yes we if we want we can add the shipping charges so let's copy this or not copy refactor this for charge model which is also done then we are using this charge model to set charge models on payment definition then lastly we are going to initialize the merchant preferences merchant is the actual seller so seller details we need to set and this is very important why it is saying that return url so when user approves your uh, subscription plan then where you want to redirect user so that the subscription is executed so here we need to create a new route and again what i'm going to use is config of services dot paypal dot url uh, dot execute agreement so why not use capital a and that has to be double e agreement similarly we can copy this one from here and paste it here and this time we need to also say that this is for 
failure and this is for success so let's open our services file so we will go on config then services and here in the url i will create execute agreement and in this we have two one is for success other is for failure okay so here we have and now what we will do we will copy first from here give a comma here and now paste it there paste it there so uh, indentation yeah here we have so it has to be like execute then agreement this is the actual route we are going to create and slash true slash true is just for the success is equal to true so you can see the url has to be like success is equal to true and success is equal to false so i have converted that into success and failure so here again execute agreement slash false false means obviously failure so let's go to web.php file which is inside route and web.php file and let's create a route for uh, get request it's a get request and execute agreement and after that we need to give the status the status is just like uh, is if it is successful or failed so it is uh, let's say success this is good and then it will go on plan controller we don't have plan controller yet but that we can do later so plan controller at execute okay so we will create this so i'm just going to comment this for now so that uh, this will not create any problem so this is done so what we need to do here on the create plan we can say services.people.url execute success execute agreement failure that's exactly here people url execute agreement success so let's move this again into a new class but before that let's see uh, auto billing is yes so it will automatically build it initial fail amount so if there is a failure it will uh, continue with the other action so it will not stop the subscription and maximum fail attempt it is zero so if first time it fails then it will not retry then setup fee if if there is something set up setting up fee so it's like as the user subscribe initially what amount you are going to charge and then after that the actual uh, actual subscription charge will deduct it each month or according to the plan so let's refactor this one also merchant preferences that's again done and at the last we need to say this arrow api context and finally we will do one thing which is like uh, dd of output die and dump of output so let's see is there any Thing remaining so we have to include this class import we have to import this class then currency class charge model class merchant preferences class and that's done so let's try this one and to use this uh, create function we will do one thing is like we will go and create a subscription controller so first thing php artisan make controller and subscription controller let's create that yeah it is created so subscription controller and inside this i will say a new function public function and it's like create plan and inside this i am going to initiate i will say plan is equal to uh, new of create plan and then i will say plan arrow create so this is create plan which is this file 
and then we are calling this function and it will do all these things and i think you get the idea it is like you can refactor all these things you want to. like we have refactored on execute part of normal payment so <clears throat> this is done but now we don't have the uh, route for this so let's open web.php file and create a route where we can just go and i will say create the plan so plan slash create is the uh, route and it's going to hit the subscription controller at create plan okay so we have done that and let's open the server and go to firefox and what i will do i will say localhost 8000 slash plan slash create let's see oops i have two times slash so once again let's see what will be the result yeah we have something and it says all these things actually the plan is really created so plan id is this so plan is created but how we can verify that plan is created so yeah this is given but on this sample code you can see we have a uh, list billing plans so we can list all the plans we have created yet so it's very easy so again i will go to php storm and create a function called uh, list plan okay so here i just need to get these two line and after that we need the api context but you know why not use this same thing uh, like this in our create plan so when we are creating the plan yeah obviously we can list the plan so that we can just get the api context from here so yeah it is done and what i am going to do let's say return plan list and now we can call that on subscription so public function uh, list plan and now this is the system and let's return of plan arrow list plan and let's go and create another route for this and plan then i will say list and it's simple list plan so if i go on firefox why not go to chrome so i will say localhost 8000 slash plan slash list and so you can see we have two plans but actually we don't have two we have more plans and we are getting other plans if we can set the create plan and page size to let's say 10 and if I do this and refresh, then you will see more of the plans. And these plans actually I have created when I was testing. So now we can see we have three plans. And the last one is starting with the P and with TRQ. Here we have exact same. Starting with the P and with TRQ. If you can see this one. So we have successfully created the plan we know that how we can get all the plans and then in the next episode we will see some other things like uh, how we can get the details of a single plan like this get billing plan and activating the plan most important part because the steps are create a plan then activate the plan so in the next episode create activating the plans so you know it took a lot of effort to create this kind of uh, uh, tutorial for you and you just need to support Bitfumes if you want. So for that, you need to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. If you have not subscribed, go and subscribe to this channel for more updates. Share with your friends and we will meet in the next episode. Till then, goodbye.